probably doing fine, but don't get discouraged. Oh, pep talk time. Yep. We know how much you whine. You'll be all right. What's wrong? Nothing. Don't give me that. Every time you say nothing, it's always nothing. What's wrong? It's just that, you know, you seem to think pretty highly of him. Well, do you like him more than me? He's the kind of guy you can really depend on, isn't he? What? What? <laughs> yeah, Pliskin is one heck of a man, isn't he? He's so cool, so confident. Yeah, yeah. But he's nowhere near as cool as you. You'll always be my number one. Bah. Bah. That's not what I meant. <laughs> it sounds like that's what you meant. You're kind of cute sometimes. Bye, Jack. What did you mean, Ryden? Yeah. What else could you have meant? Top of locker. Top of locker. That bird wants you to go to the top of the locker. Top of locker. I don't... I actually think if they manage to bump into you, they might, like, get suspicious of you. Okay. Sorry. Or, like, there's a chance of them knocking your suit off by accident. Because it's just applique or something? Like... It doesn't fit very well, I guess. What's this? Oh, it's the directional mic. Oh. Oh, shit. Uh. Oh, they're gonna... They, they know you're there. They don't! They do. They don't? Wow, what an idiot. <laughs> My locker! So... I'll need to wait for that guy to come back out, huh? And downloading! Torture, torture, torture. I think you'll need to... You'll, you'll need to, like, choke someone out and bring them over. No, I, I know that, I'm just saying, but, like, now... They, they, they showed me that because that's, like, the guy who can get through the... Yeah, yeah. The retinal scanner, or, like, a guy who can get through the retinal scanner. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, this is easy. Like this, I can get like right up next to the dude and just be like, hello. Hello, friend. <laughs> oh, shoot. No, no, no. Don't call people. Uh, so. <laughs> Ready to find that president and yeah. we'll actually find Ames and then find the president? I'm telling you, man. If I don't get to ride Metal Gear Ray, I'm going to be super disappointed. <laughs> it's just going to ruin the whole game. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Uh, but no, no, I, but I don't want to pilot it, right? I literally yeah, want to ride okay. it on the outside, like just sit like, on top of its head. Yes, like riding a dinosaur. Yeah, exactly, exactly. We're, and we're gonna, we're, we'll get Otacon to, to pilot it. Okay. And you kind of like, I don't know, you like click your And that's how we'll something. evac the president. Yeah, yeah. We'll stuff Otacon, we'll just jam Otacon and uh, the president in the, in the pilot seat of the ray. Mm -hmm. And Pliskin and I will ride on its back to victory. I like it. You could all, I mean... You wouldn't be able to shoot the lasers, but you could have the president be held in Ray's mouth. Just like, roar, and then go. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And he's nice and safe. And if you need to uh, shoot the lasers, you just casually spit him back out on the ground, shoot the laser, and then pick him back up. Oh, perfect. Got him. Retinol pattern recognized. You are cleared to enter. Good job. Nice. Nice. Now the next level is two right Yeah, at the scanners. same time. See, like, choke out two dudes. You gotta and, get, like, like, Assassin's Creed yeah. style with the two blades <laughs> yeah. and stick them in. Yeah, stick their heads in. Just, <clears throat> and then just, like, yeah. step yeah. Who thought Ubisoft stole that from this game? Mm. I sure didn't. I didn't either. Assassin's Creed is, uh, Metal Gear Solid 3.5. <laughs> yeah. Just the whole series just fits it. Uh -huh. right in it's between Metal Gear Solid 3 and 4. Like no, no, it's, else. It's, it's, it's it's between two and three. Okay. That it's 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 really how Ryan becomes the uh, the cyborg he's born to be. Yeah, I gotcha. Right, one of those hostages in there is Ames. The only thing does Ryan wear eyeshadow, wears eyeliner. Maker. His heartbeat should sound different from other Ryan has like very so pronounced eyes. So there's like a clear black circle. I'm pretty sure he's wearing eyeshadow. It's like he's got eyeliner on. Yeah. Keep the microphone pointed towards He is fancy, you know. Push the action button and call out to him. If it really is Ames, he should respond in some way. What if it's the wrong person? The guards may get suspicious and come running instead. Security could get tighter, too. 
Try to be sure before you take the risk. Don't call out to a hostage with the action button until you're fairly sure that it's aims. If you do make a mistake, switch the microphone for an AK and get out of there before a guard. There you go. So as long as you have your gun out, anyone looking at you is just like, whatever, I don't care. You just gotta make sure you point your microphone at people uh, while the guard's not looking at you. Alright, so like now's a decent time. Yeah. And you still have the um, thing, so... Nothing. Does he know you're not a bad guy? Hmm. He does not. Reporting no problems. <laughs> <laughs> Just standing really still. Yep. Sorry, it's my first day. I'm surprised he didn't knock your suit off there. Yeah, me too. So what am I trying to hear different? That's... There's supposed to be some kind of mechanical pacemaker sound inside his heartbeat. Okay. Oh, shoot. Yeah, you don't even get a chance. Okay. I mean, I could... There's... Oh, yeah, I guess they said there's about 30. There's so many hostages. But for people basically working on an oil rig and, like, refining plant, they wear a lot of suits. Oh, uh, I think we found them. Wait. Did you know oh. pacemakers beeped? <laughs> Did you know that pacemakers beeped? Yeah. Your aims, aren't you? Yeah. The Your guards aims. just. He just, you know, he's doing terrorist things somewhere else. Keep still and listen to me. I'm not a terrorist. I'm not a terrorist. Taking off the tape. Stay quiet. <laughs> Who told you about me? An informer calling himself Mr. X, dressed like a ninja. I see. Take this thing off me, will you? I'm Richard Ames. The Secret Service? No, I was sent in by the Lali Lule Lo, just like you. You're here to find out where the president is. We have little time, so I'll be brief. How about switching to nanocommunications first? Nanocommunications? <laughs> right, silence beats talk when it comes to safety. <laughs> he was sent in by the Patriots. And Ocelot's listening to you. Are you on? Right here. Do you really know where the president is? For some reason, he doesn't want to talk, and Ocelot's listening. He's moved to the first floor of Shell That's funny. Core section. The first floor, the core of Shell Two. Is he still there? I don't know. I can't get a response. You don't think he's been like the other hostages? Hmm? A hostage was killed in retaliation after the Seal Ten disaster. Remember? What are you talking about? Hmm. Regardless of what they do to other hostages, they won't touch the president. What makes you so sure? The case. You mean the nuclear button they took? Right. And the case won't do a thing by itself. That case may be the single most advanced example of a weapons failsafe system. The password is nothing less than the physiological data of the U.S. president. Physiological data? The president's own vital signs. Heartbeat, brainwave pattern blood pressure and so on are constantly monitored and relayed by his internal nano machines this information along with the dna pattern serve as a biometric password unbreakable even by the latest parallel processor supercomputers the password entry itself it's a lot of fancy words formed yeah. unless brainwave patterns and heartbeats fall within normal parameters rendering chemical and other forms of coercion impractical in other words the login must be made of the president's own free will as a failsafe, the input must also be reconfirmed hourly, even after the initial login. If a valid confirmation is not forthcoming, the system hmm. will automatically cancel the login. And that's why they can't harm the president. At least until the bird flies. 
Is there really a new model of Metal Gear here? Absolutely. The black case serves as the launched key to Metal Gear as well. Why would they hide Metal Gear in an offshore plant? Haven't they told you anything? The entire thing was planned. The oil spill, the tanker accident that caused it, everything. The big shell was built specifically for the development of a new Metal oh, Gear model. Yeah. The inspection tour was to check its progress. What's going on around here? Wait.